Yo guys, Matt from Upside Mining. I'm back at you with a, another video. Um, as you guys might know or might not know, I do have a lot of AMD 6600 and 6600 XT uh, GPU variants on my farm. I have close to probably 40 GPUs or so uh, or more. Um, so let's take a look here. Uh, I have multiple 6600 rigs. So let's see what we got here. So we got one, two, three, for five rigs of eight GPUs. So that's, yeah, five times eight, 40, uh, 6,600 or 6,000 series rigs. Um, now I just recently learned uh, that Team Red Miner has a new release for R mode. Um, let's see, take a look here. So, uh, where is it? Mode, okay, so, Team Red Matter 010. Uh, our mode public release bringing significant efficiency improvements on a range of AMD GPUs. Please read the ET hash R mode tuning guide for more information on before enabling. So um, let's take a look here. So GPU R mode introduced see separate documentation available for a Vega V V11s, Navi 10, and big Navi type GPUs. Um, I'm just gonna pull up where the uh, R mode turn, uh, tuning guide is. I don't know where that is. Is it here? Okay, so let's see. Um, I got this tuning guide here. I'll put a link to this also in the video. But um, uh, this guide describes a new R mode introduced in Team Red Miner's 010. It assumes the reader has already read the older ETH tuning guide. Uh, R mode greatly improves efficiency for ET hash mining on a range of AMD GPUs. It is most complex. It is the most complex and advanced work we've done to date. So wow, that's uh, quite that says a lot. And I do use Team Red Miner on all my AMD GPUs. I prefer to use it. I find it more stable, and I guess I don't know, it works for me, right? So I just keep using R mode. Um, in general, R mode has the same trade-off effect for all GPUs. You can now run a lower clock, therefore lowering core voltage, while sustaining very, very close to the same ET hash hash rate as before. Um, let's take a look here. I'm going to read it all. I'll give you the link in the description. But R mode effect in various GPUs. The, very, uh, the effect of R mode on different GPUs can be summarized as follows. Uh, 6900, 6800, 6800. Small power save of 2 to 3 watts by lowering the core clock. Might not be worth the effort. 6700 XT. Good effect. 1000 MHz core. Good enough for 1075 MHz memory clock. 6600 XT. Our test indicate there's no real point using it, but we're waiting for more user feedback. Um... Uh, 5700, 57, and 5700 XTs, you get a lot of changes in there. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those GPUs. Um, so, um, let's see here. Radeon V, uh, Sevens, Family, Solid Win, uh, Vega 5654. So I'm not sure about 6600. It didn't really say anything about like, just the base 6600s. Um, but I do, I do know Red Panda did drop a video recently about uh, tuning the 6600 and 6600 XT. So, all right, so I'll put a link to this and the GitHub in the description below. Above, and I'm just going to show real quickly how to update the drivers. So in order for this to work, you do require the latest, eh, sorry, excuse me, AMD drivers. Um, so let me open up this. I've been going through all the AMD rigs and basically updating the AMD drivers. Now, as you know, with the NVIDIA, you can replace the NVIDIA drivers with the NVIDIA-driver-update. But with AMD, you have to update the actual HiveOS image to do that. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to update the version of HiveOS, HiveOS the latest uh, flashed image, onto the drive. Uh, and that should also update the latest um, AMD drivers. And once that's done, uh, we'll go and enable R mode in the flight sheets. So let's go up in here. So first thing you do is you're going to click on uh, Remote Access Hive Shell Start, and you're going to click on Hive Shell, and you're going to click on the link inside here, and that's going to launch up the shell like this. Okay. Now you got to type in Hive dash update dash dash list. So we're going to update the entire. Um, my bad. It's Hive Replace. I should be making a video if I don't know what I'm talking about. Hive dash replace dash dash list. Okay. That's going to give you the list of images. So we're going to pick the first image here. This is the latest stable here. 
uh, and it has the AMD drivers 21.40. And if you take a look here, what I have right now, we are actually on um, an older version of the drivers. So we are on actually version 20.4. Okay, so let's go back to Let's go back to the shell here and we're gonna pick that one to update the driver or the image and we're gonna hit yes. It's gonna take a while, it's gonna stop all the services and it's gonna load through. So we're gonna just sit here and wait to see um, how it's doing. So we'll just wait till it's load and I'll be back in just a second. Okay guys, so once it actually completes, it will actually uh, update all the drivers and restart the uh, rig as well. So coming down here, I can see that now we are on the latest version of uh, HiveOS here. We have 21.40.1. I'm just gonna um, check here and upgrade uh, as well from this option here to make sure we upgrade to the absolute latest. And I'll be right back in one second and then we'll enable R mode on the flight sheet and let's see if we can notice any difference on these 6600 XTs. Okay guys, so just resuming now, um, I updated everything. Uh, we are on 21.4 drivers. Uh, let's enable R mode on this flight sheet. So we're going to go to flight sheets here. We're going to um, this here. And for some reason, I don't think my settings are super optimal anyways. So uh, by doing some other additional tweaks, we could probably improve the um, efficiency. So we're going to add dash dash kernel underscore VM underscore mode equals RR. Look here. See. Let's see if I can find that mode. Okay. Okay. So kernel dash uh, underscore VM underscore mode X. So for Linux, because we're on Hive OS, we're gonna put uh, equals RR. So uh, new R mode for all GPUs except Polaris. So this doesn't apply to like 570s, 580s uh, type of card. So let's uh, get back into there. We're going to put our R mode on there and we're going to hit apply changes and update that. And as you can see, I do have a couple different flight sheets available. Uh, just going to different wallets. This one's paying out in Bitcoin from uh, two miners. So let's see, we're at 435 right now. It's saying 435 watts. Uh, and let's see if it makes any difference now. So we are at, so I know this one, I altered the VDD, v, VDCI, and MVDD, and we are down from, like this was saying 54 watts reported. Uh, I don't have a watt meter right now because it's down in the, in the mining um, cave area. So I'm not going to go down there right now to get the actual numbers, but we're going to see the numbers in the software and see what kind of improvements we can get there. I'm assuming there's going to be substantial improvements as well in, in, the, in the, at the actual wall. Remember, our starting point was 435. Let me just check this. I might need to restart this one. So I'm gonna basically, I'm gonna stop the miner. I'm gonna restart the miner actually that. So we restart the miner and let's see if it makes any difference at all. Okay, so this is fully upgraded. We restarted it. We're down to, uh, what is this, 438 watts right now. Um, I'm gonna apply the same clock settings to the other 6600 XTs. Take a note of the memory type. Generally, you need to apply, if you try applying the same settings to all memory types, you could have a crash. So I'm gonna start with all the Samsung memory, GDDR6 memory, apply the same overclocks, and we're gonna see what that does. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, keep, keep in mind, I checked at the wall we are at we were at 580 watts uh, before we started applying these settings. So if, let's say 580 watts. I'm gonna go out and check to see what uh, what is at um, the wall in just a second. But the settings have been applied here. Um, we're gonna check out to see. I'm gonna refresh it a couple times. So we are already down. Oh my God, we're already down the software from 437 to 390. That's uh, only smokes. Oh, what is that? For, uh, 391, there's 37 plus eight. 37 plus eight is 45 watts less on the rig so far. 45 watts less. We're at 45 watts. Let's hit refresh again. 
And it looks like we have a crash, so uh, we might have to uh, reboot that and see why it's crashing. Okay, so it looks like GPU 5 didn't like that, so we applied uh, the settings to GPU 5, and it looks like we did get a crash here. Um, so we're fine with the memory. I believe we didn't change that memory. We didn't change the core clock. So something to do with the VDD, VDD, CIM, VDD, the voltages that uh, have caused this the crash, number 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the voltages. Um, I'm going to give it more voltage um, back to where it was, maybe a little bit higher up. I'm just going to see because um, I'm not sure if it's the core voltage or the memory controller voltage which causes it to crash. But I'll increase both. Uh, I could put I could leave this one. I'm not sure. Yet. Maybe I could because this was at 750 before, which is quite high. Uh, this one's at 750 for the core voltage. So maybe I'll put the core voltage back at 750 and then slowly drop it down and see what it does. Okay, so I applied the overclocks here and um, I did get some st more stability on this GPU 5 here by increasing the uh, these voltages to 700 on each. Uh, we are 32.68. Um, this one GPU here though didn't like it very much. It seems to have dropped quite a bit on the hash rate. We're down to 21.94 mega hash down from 29 mega hash, which isn't very good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, probably slowly just increase uh, these voltages here and see where we can get it at. But so far we're doing pretty good because we were down to 369 watts from 437 watts. I haven't got a measurement in the wall, but I will in just a second. Yo, okay guys, I just wanted to finish up this video. Um, it was since yesterday I finished that last little recording. Um, I monkeyed around with the settings a lot. I wasn't able to adjust it with the... Um, setting the memory voltage at 1300. Um, in fact, setting that to any value seems to have uh, spiked the uh, the wattage at the wall, which is really interesting. Uh, and the cards tend to be really kind of unstable. So I just kind of like went back to this setting here where I'm having a 680 on the core voltage and 720 on the uh, memory controller voltage. Uh, and that's getting me uh, 256.5 mega hash per second. And if we do a comparison to kind of how it was um, yesterday i know we were around 255 mega hash um at the wall yesterday we were around 580 watts that's like obviously the entire rig and right now we are at 570 watts right so for um let's take a look here and see what the profitability of this rig is right now it's not really that good in fact it's not good across the board with um, any most of the gpus right now anyways so if i put 256.5 on the et hash because we're currently mining ethereum on that um, and then we're going to put 570 at the wall for this entire uh, rig of 6600 XTs. This is with the latest uh, update and the R mode enabled. Um, we're seeing a, uh, with my current cost of electricity around $2.33 per day. Um, 233 divided by 8. Let's just do the math real quick and we can see what it is for the entire, for each card. 233 divided by 8. We're looking at about $0.29 cents, uh, US per day profitability. Uh, per 6600 XT. Um, I didn't notice a big difference. I think it was about 10 watts different on the, um, and I was able to get a squeeze one and a half more mega hash out. So it wasn't incredibly that much more uh, different, even though in the software it, it was like down from 435 to 386. Uh, it didn't seem to really affect it in like actuality in real life. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, why it was doing that. Anyways guys, I'm gonna leave it there now Let me know if you guys have played with this new R mode with the 6600s and if you've actually noticed some big difference And I'm not just talking at the software, but actually at the wall like at the software This is saying it was down from 435 to 386, but we were at around 580 watts before now It says 386 uh, watts in the software, but it's actually 570 watts so we're still we're only saving with 10 watts and it's really not uh, that big of an improvement maybe maybe you need really needs a 5700 or 5000 series cards in order to really notice the difference with our mode anyways guys i'm gonna leave it there for now uh, if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye for now